Okay, so now we are in the second step of the carbohydrate digestion. So we have divided uh, the solution with uh, starch into different tubes. So the solution that was divided into tubes three and four was the one that it was found in tube one. And <clears throat> the solution that it was divided into the tubes five and six was in uh, tube number two. So we put the same amount and then to these uh, tubes two, sorry, three and, and, and five, we added this Lugol solution. So Lugol solution, what it does, it's iodized. So what it does, it detects the presence of starch. So <clears throat> when you have the presence of starch or undigested carbohydrates, what you will end up having is this uh, dark blue color. And then when you have this yellow color, that means that you don't have starch, meaning that you have digested the carbohydrate. So if you remember in this tube number three, we have a starch in amylase. So in here we have digestion and in this tube, we only have the starch in water. So water itself, it won't be able to digest the carbohydrates. That's why we have still starch in here, which was detected by Lugol. Now in these other tubes, uh, we have the starch and amylase in uh, this tube number, number four, and in tube number six, we have starch and water. And we have added some drops of Benedict's reagent, which is going to detect the presence of monosaccharides, which are simple carbohydrates. Whenever you use an enzyme to digest carbohydrates, that is specific for carbohydrates, you expect these long polymers of, of saccharides or glucose molecules to be broken down into a smaller monosaccharides. Now, starch is a long polymer of of monosaccharides, of, of glucose that we obtain in the diet. So foods rich, is, uh, rich in starches are, for instance, corn, potatoes, and then we start digesting them in our uh, mouth with the salivary amylase that we have, but also we continue this digestion of carbohydrates in the pancreas with the pancreatic amylase. Now this specific uh, reagent, the Benedict's, then is going to detect the presence of monosaccharides or glucose. But in order for us to see a change in color, which you don't see in here, which is yellow, sorry, blue, we have to put it here in uh, boiling water and then we can see the, the change in color. So I'm going to do that and then I will be back. 